Sup, sup, everyone! It's really Timmy B back at it again with our friend Always More Videos right over there for episode 3 of our Pokemon Platinum Type Lock Cage Lock. Last episode on Derek's channel was absolutely intense and amazing. Make sure you guys go watch it and then come back here to watch it. We're not going to do any team recaps or anything like that. You guys can see them on the screen. You can see the types that we unlocked on this graphic next to us. But Derek, my friend, how are you doing today? doing good man i'm rocking in my new dragon ball hoodie uh chilling with my boy uh yeah pretty good pretty good can't complain guys it is gonna be great we'll probably have the first cage match either here on my episode or over on derek's episode this week so we are excited and friendly reminder as always guys make sure to hit that thumbs up button to like this video and subscribe if you guys are new and like pokemon and don't only subscribe to me subscribe to this amazing content creator over here mr always more videos derek my friend you ready to just hop in with the episode and get going yeah let's do this bro beautiful beautiful now i'm in orberg city i got my my combi up to level 13. Naval's at level 21 so we'll see if it it stays there and and becomes a vespaquin it's very weak pokemon but how how are you looking over there in jubilife so i just on 203 i remember i got an encounter uh that was the dom fan i lost it because i locked into it sadly mm -hmm. But I am ready to finish battling these trainers. I'm going to use a little bit of speed up, try to catch up to you. That way we can definitely get to that cage match today. Dude, I'm I'm excited. Hopefully I can get a nice encounter here in the Orberg mine. I mean, I got bug, flying, steel, and electric. So honestly, just a dual type would be nice. But I'll also take just a pure electric as well. Let's see what the first encounter is. In oh, God, it's a Registeel. Okay, so I can catch this. That is an Ooh. option, but it's a Registeel. <laughs> Yes, 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 indeed. Oh, Zinc? Oh, oh, I might, I might have to slap that on Scizor just to help with our weakness to fire. Yo, my man's just showed up with a ho oh. You want to chill, bro? Bro, I, it's just like, come on, man. We're too early in the game to be breaking this down. Unfortunately, the randomized moves, uh, there won't be any explosion. Well, hopefully, not. No explosions on our friend, Mr. Reggie Steel. Or any of the other Reggies, so. So, Mr. Mr. Timmy, oh, you go first. No, 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 yeah, 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 no, you go first. I got a You're question. You're a guest here on this, on this video for my channel. I got a question for you. I don't think I know the answer, and I, I thought it would be a good topic for discussion today. Let's do it. So, who was your inspiration to start YouTube? Oh, my inspiration to start YouTube, I, I would definitely say it's probably, it probably comes down to three people. Um, the first one is my dry bread who does the, uh, like, can you be Pokemon with only, or Pokemon game with only one Pokemon challenge. And then obviously the two homies, quick GG and chill and play. You guys probably will see them in some comments in, in some of my streams as well. Uh, they like to support me from time to time. So I would say those are my three big inspirations i mean i was watching quick and chilling for a while hanging out in their streams joining the community and then uh, i was at a time where uh, because of the pandemic i lost my job so and then right around that same time my dry bread uh made a video series of like hey here's how i record and like edit my pokemon videos and i was like well this is just perfect timing for me to kind of start on my own now that i got some free time so uh those are probably my big three inspirations how about yourself oh, so are down here i don't have the water type too started with uh i started with yield nib which a lot of people know that uh because we was both big fans of original 151 and united Ooh, gamer great I think choices. that's yeah i think that's a lot of people's like first go-to's in the pokemon community mm -hmm. and uh so i started watching them i actually see i started with smosh i think a lot of people did right watching smosh on youtube and i always thought like man making like comedy videos would be a blast i tried it when i was younger like a freshman eighth grader something like that uh obviously didn't care about it <laughs> so then when i met whitney when i would go to wait for her to get ready for like when we was dating and right. i would like sit on the couch or lay there in her bed and i would watch the uh red and blue verses between original 151 and dobbs and that kind of was like, yo, they're playing Pokemon on the internet, randomizers and stuff like that. And I did randomizers in high school in my computer class. That's what we did to pass the time. 
probably why I work every day when I could have been paying attention in school and been a doctor or something. But anyways, so Dr. when it becomes, Derek, yeah, I know I've been, instead of Larry the Cable Guy, I've been Dr. Derek. <laughs> well, it, and it's, it's, it's crazy too, because I, I've always been a fan of, I guess, content creation and, and things like that. And I mean, I've made a couple of videos I don't even know if that YouTube account exists anymore, but like back in like seventh, eighth grade, like, like you were saying, and it was just crazy. Like I've always been a fan of like content creation and like, you know, maybe making it big and, and it was just good timing here for, for Pokemon and I lost my train of thought. So you, you keep talking, doc, Dr. Derek. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Oh, I figured out. All right. I remember what I was going to say. So, um, I think it was even crazy too because I had we had some of this uh, official Nintendo hardware software, uh, the words that we like to use. Um, I had like all the Game Boy, all the DS stuff back in like tenth grade. So it's just crazy that like if I went back ten years to tell, well maybe like closer to fifteen years, but if I went back to tenth grade me, I would definitely tell myself just be like, hey man, just start recording your you playing Pokemon on YouTube and like you know do that like if i started my youtube channel like 10 15 years ago who knows where i would be right now you know oh yeah oh yeah no doubt so, man that was my that was that was my thought process that 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 was the thought that i <laughs> couldn't remember but so see when we uh because i can remember whitney actually pulled it up the other day it was a flashback on her snapchat she had made always more videos kind of like a little logo off of just using like pictures and stuff off snapchat and I always talked about it. I never did it then. Me and Gilt Nib was talking shouts to Bob. We, uh, he was like, man, let's just do it. He's like, if nobody watches, at least we're playing a randomizer. We can do it versus. We decided gold and silver because we're both big Gen 2 fans. Right. And then, you know, I started bouncing in, meeting you guys. And it just took off. Yeah, And, and, it, it was, and it's been an absolute and blast. My, my some of my fraternity brothers they started a podcast make sure you guys check out splain life comedy as well they do have a youtube where they post their podcast uh but they were like we we basically just facetime each week and talk for like an hour and a half about just random stuff so like let's just record it <laughs> like, and, and make yeah. a podcast so it's it, it's that simple guys like you know just start recording hit that record button whether it's fantastic and you can edit or you know maybe it's not the be best quality you know say go for it oh yeah now there's a Paris here. My encounter is a primate and I can't do it. Rip. Ooh. That would have been such a good Pokemon. It, yeah, and like I'm sitting here with this Paris thinking, you know. Wow, there's a Turtwig and a Grattle in this mine. Do I catch the Registeel and just dominate with the reggie seal or do i maybe catch this paris to unlock the grass type which will only help me in future encounters you know paris isn't that great but it's like do i want to try to catch a reggie seal which i may or may not catch or go catch the paris which i think is the fun part of that, about like this type lock aspect too eee, chill 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 you good over there? You good? Yeah, this mom junior is uh, really wrecking my team right now. I think there actually is a random trade in here. Do I have Spinda for Vespaquin? Wow. Okay. Well, I'm gonna get one in like seven levels, dude. I don't need to give you a Spinda for it. Let me make sure I'm stocked up on items. That All right. Happen. Oh, I am well stocked. Does your rival fight you outside of here? I can't remember. Uh, in the in the in the gym city. Yeah. No, you just like talk to him because like I think the dude is like, hey man, this guy's like, just freaking out of the door, and I think you talked to him. He's like, yeah, the gym leader isn't here. It's locked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, All right. It's like, well, it's like, well, go find him then, dummy. <laughs> like, like I did. All right. Ooh. I think. What do we, what do we, what am I, what am I looking up here on, on your, on I got your a Kadabra right as my 207 encounter. Yo, you got Psychic too. That, yeah, that, that will that's evolve. Huge. I did, I did turn off trade Evo, so that should evolve at like 36 or 37 for you doing Alakazam. 
He's level six. There's, I gotta throw a ball. And like you said, r random uh, move, so he shouldn't have teleport unless he got right. randomized to have teleport. Which that would suck. Break out immediately. All right, where's this Paris? Or maybe a shiny red seal pops up, and I'm like, you know what, shiny claws. I'll, I'll catch this as well. Turtwig. Nah, we're Come on, Kadabra. He's breaking out immediately, and I can't hit him. We have earth power, too. Come on. I should have just caught this Paris when I saw it. I did a lot. I think I could catch this Radio Seal, but I'm kind of, I'm trying to unlock some types. I'm trying to set myself up for future encounters. And potential cage match if I were to lose, which, you know, hopefully I don't. I lose a type. Right, Go for go. acid. Paris. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Killed it. Well, I got the Paris, and I just unlocked the grass type. That is huge. And you are... You're female, but you know what? We're going to name you Hilton, after Paris Hilton. There we go. Look at me. Look at me coming up with a creative name like that. We got a berry. And a heal ball. <laughs> I just wasted a heal ball. I, I should have I not went for acid on that Kadabra. Paris Hilton is proud of its power and happily eats anything. Color change? You gotta be kidding me. Ah, rip. Giga Drain, Bug Bite, Mud Shot, and Hammer. That's a moveset, though. I will. I'll take that. Okay, so because of your incident in episode two mm -hmm. on my channel, I got a Dodio, Doduo. Oh. So he is normal flying, so I can snag him. That, that you can. And that will unlock flying for me. Stay in the ball. I can't weaken you. Come on now. I'll throw every ball at this thing. Ah, there we go. Two balls. That's what we needed. Unlock flying type on my side and add Doduo to the screen. Hey, look at that. Paris cool and name. Doduo. If that was a soul link, I'd be like, We're, let's just box these immediately. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon Platinum Type Lock Cage Lock Soul Link question mark? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna name him Dude. Dude the Doe Duo, I love it. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna take on the gym. I mean his ace is 14 and I got pretty much everybody there except for this Paris, so maybe a little switch train battling the homies beforehand, but yeah, I I'm here, I'm excited. Ooh, I got a fossil. Oh, you can, you will be able to ride that after the second gym. That's exciting. All right, let's I see a, here. I need a fossil too, because, I mean, I know, I know we, obviously, should we allow, like, fossils and statics to just be, like, an automatic addition and unlock to the team? I will let that be your call, my good sir. I say why not, because, I mean, if we, if we find a random fossil as a randomized item, that's kind of like the game telling us, like, hey, man, here's a, here's a free Pokemon for you. So I say we go for it. I wonder what ability dude has on him. His Hopper Cutter prevents the attack stat from being lowered. Hey, that's pretty good. Oh, that's, that's fantastic, actually. Got Stab Wrap and Stab Sky Attack. <laughs> Gotta get that stab wrap in there. Everstone. Not bad. Macargo. Still with me, bud? I'm still with you. I am still with you. I was just about to say... Uh, we figured out game audio for this one, so please let me know uh, if we need to turn it up for, for the next few episodes. And uh, my apologies if I do speed up often. It's kind of a habit of mine, so I'll try my best since we got game audio. But especially in grinding sessions or trying to find an encounter, speed up might be happening. So if you hear just a bunch of bleep, that's because... Oh, Staryu, what's up? From Breeder Landon. That sounds about right. Landon would have a Staryu on his team. That's, that's so fitting. Oh, that's it has so drought. Fitting. That, that's not good for you, buddy. Bro, I got back into the streaming side of things, and I'm really enjoying myself. Dude, I saw... Well, hey, I mean, 
plug yourself, man. I have. I, I need to check it out next time. Well, what's a Kingler lock? Are you just trying to beat it with Kingler, or like explain to the people what you're streaming right now? Sorry, I didn't mean to plug on your. I forgot where we was there for a minute. No, uh, man, do it, I, dude. Let, we gotta get. We got. We gotta make your streams lit AF, man. But yeah, so my Kingler lock over on my channel, guys, we're streaming Gen 1 through 7, possibly Gen 8 if I can figure out all that when the time comes. But I'm going through every Pokemon game, starting with Kingler as our starter. And then we will be going in. Oh, he has dry skin, boo. But we take Kingler in. We do a Nuzlocke too, so we still build another team. But no matter where we are, if Kingler dies, if we're at the champion, fourth gym, it don't matter. Wherever you're at in the game, Kingler dies, you reset that game and have to go all through it again. Oh, now that is interesting. Yeah, shout out to the doorman. He kind of he kind of helped me create it without knowing because we were in a Discord chat there and we were just talking and he was talking about like different Nuzlocke and stuff that he does. I was like, man, that's something I should try. Do something different. That's not your basic. Well, here's a versus randomizer. Let's go. Right. And, and, it, and it's nice too that like, especially with the Pokemon like Kingler, because like Kingler is like pretty decent, but it really becomes good in Gen Four once it can actually kind of use its physical attack with physical water moves. <laughs> yeah. But how how is that going so far? I needed. I mean, I was out of town, so. Uh, could, couldn't make it to a few of them, but how's it been going so far? Are you struggling, or, or are we kind of cruising here? So, Kingler hasn't died. He's come close, like, I think, like, three times. Okay. But I've lost a crap ton of team members. Yeah. <laughs> it's, been, right. it's been so bad. Well, as long as you keep Kingler alive, I think I think that'll that'll be okay. All right. Rich Boy Christine as the gym leader with the horsey starting off. Are right. oh, you, do, you doing the gym right now? I'm, I'm here, brother. I'm here as well. Horsey, I got a horsey to battle, so. I got Rachel. What's up, Rachel? Oh, that's good. What's good, Rachel and Christine? Aqua Ring Horsey. That's actually not bad. Manetric. That's kind of an issue. Got this. Pidgeot? Normal oh. time. Dang, if only I had this electric-type Pokemon I could use. Oh, we about died. Oh, who, who died? I almost died. My, uh, I took a discharge from a Netric on a... Oh my god, this bitch got his flamethrower. Oh, oh god, no, please. You have charge beam? That's Hit broken. Hit this thunder. No, you... That did 20? That did stab. 20? As long as this doesn't crit, famous last words for a Nuzlocke, but as long as this doesn't crit, it didn't crit. Hit this thunder, please. There we go. Good Marge. Good Marge the Magnezone. 40 and 80. Is Tentacruel a physical attacker? No, right? Uh, not really, no. Okay. Oh, Drowsy. That's that was his ace, ace Pidgeot, too, with Flamethrower. Thank you for hitting Thunder March. I didn't. I mean, I have like 15 potions, so it's not the end of the world. But boy, I did not want to lose that Magnezone. Hmm. This would be such a perfect battle. And or... oh, Aftermath Drowsy. I, I somebody write that down in the comments that Drowsy has Aftermath. That way, I know for the next time I record because I just look at your comments while we record, obviously. All right, let's see what my TM is from the gym leader. I got our first gym badge here of the type lock, cage lock. How are you doing against Rachel? I'm up against a vile plume, and it is GG's. Dude, let's go. I got pursuit. Honestly, I mean, not 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 a terrible move. Can anybody learn it? That was the question. I got lock on pursuit. Man, that's nobody can learn it. All right, never mind. All right, so you just defeated your gym leader. Uh. It's Dragon Claw? That's stupid. What do you mean? Dragon Claw is such a good move! Vile Plume has Dragon Claw. If this don't kill, I'm gonna lose the Gardevoir. I'll use a potion, cheater. Crit, 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 crit. Ah. I'm a Gardevoir. I should be faster. Yeah, I am. GG's. Got the gym badge. Let's go. Let's go. What was your TM? Uh, speeding up to that right now. 
the badge. TM76. Arden. What a TM. Oh, raise that defense, baby. Yeah, this ain't the EBL. We ain't setting up. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I think we have just enough time for uh, this video to do the first ever cage match. So Derek and I are going to hop over to Pokemon Showdown. We're going to choose our Pokemon, and we are going to get the first cage match underway. We'll see you in the cage. And we are back in the first ever cage match. And Derek, you brought yourself that Tentacruel. And I brought the Magnezone, so this should be fine. I am... Well, I'm really hoping we hit Thunder. But how are you feeling? I mean, I'm just going to go ahead and see what happens. Come on, buddy. I got, I I got, a, big, I got a big surprise for you. You ready? Oh, is that how big of a surprise are we feeling here? Are you ready? I... Ah, uh, now with that, I'm kind of curious about my move. Let me try it. Oh, oh, I missed. Oh, oh, I thought you were talking about ground move. All right, I need you to miss again, buddy. I need you to miss again. All right, hit this thunder and eliminate you. No, you got to recharge. You got to recharge. Please hit thunder. Please hit thunder. Let's go. No. Let's go. All right, Derek. Unfortunate. You have to lose either the water type or the poison type. Which one are you going to lose? So, my question being... Sure. I have a water and a poison on my team. So, does that mean I have to box one of the mons? That does. You lose okay. the type entirely. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go poison and box my survivor. Alrighty. Well, you're losing the poison type. You get to keep the water type. Obviously, if you had an item on that, uh, you definitely can keep that. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you for watching the first cage match episode. Make sure you check out the next one and poisonless Derek on his channel in just a few days. Uh, Derek, any final words after after losing the first cage match? Hey, you know, we took a shot. Uh, I wasn't too devastated with losing uh, in a cruel. It did hurt losing two of my team members now. So that kind of sucks. But it is what it is. And uh, we're going to bounce back. Perfect. Well, hey guys, this was a great episode. Make sure again you guys hit that thumbs up button to like it. Subscribe to both of our channels and comment your favorite flavor of ice cream. I don't know. Comment that down below, guys, and we'll see you on Derek's channel. Peace, Peace. out.